What is going on college basketball fans? Welcome back to more conference tournament predictions. Today we got the Big Ten Conference. If you guys haven't seen the other ones we already have up on the channel, make sure you guys go check them out. We still got the Pac-12 and Mountain West to do. Uh, we already have the ACC, SEC, Big 12, and Big East uploaded on the channel, so check those out. And subscribe if you guys are new, because we got a ton more March Madness college basketball content coming your way. And yeah, guys, let's get into our Big Ten tournament prediction. All right, so we got our 2024 Big Ten bracket, and it's pretty interesting. You know, beginning of the year, you probably wouldn't expect a lot of these teams to be where they're at, to be honest. But, you know, Minnesota, probably the biggest surprise this season. Actually, that's a lie, Cap, because Nebraska, definitely the biggest surprise this season. Um, Taminga, they got... Bryce Williams, they got a lot of really good players on this team, and they can shoot. They're a little bit inconsistent, especially when they got the conference play, so I'm a little bit wary of them, but definitely the biggest surprise. Biggest disappointments, I would say Rutgers, Maryland, Michigan, the bottom three teams in the conference. I feel like they all had higher expectations this season, and just were not able to come through, especially Michigan, especially Rutgers, and Maryland. I feel like all of them were expected to be NCAA tournament teams, and they're just not even close. But yeah, guys, let's get into it. So um, we do have our round one matchups between Rutgers and Maryland and Michigan and Penn State. So we will start there with those. And yeah, Rutgers versus Maryland, a very fun matchup. Again, like I mentioned earlier, I think Maryland especially has been pretty disappointing this season and talent wise front court wise especially they have so much solid players on this team i just can't believe how bad of a season they've had and they're just too inconsistent and Rutgers has a great d uh they have great defense with cliff amorier and co company i just feel like their defense is going to show up and, and i'm going to have Rutgers win this game even though you know i really like scott i really like reese I really like a lot of the players on this uh, Maryland team, but they've had these players all year, and they were just unable to be good enough to the expectations that they had this year, and, and I just don't trust them here in this situation at either, so I am going to go with Rutgers to get the slight 13 over 12 upset over Maryland. Next up, we do have Michigan versus Penn State, 14 versus 11, and Michigan's just been terrible this year been so terrible Penn State at least has shown some consistency this year I could see Michigan pulling off this upset but I think Ace Baldwin uh such an underrated player man the transfer followed his coach over from VCU he's been a beast uh in the Big Ten this year I think uh them and the other guards will be enough for Penn State to get a victory and move on to round number two so Matchups for round two. This is to make it to the quarterfinals. Let's see what we got. We got Minnesota versus Michigan State. They matched up twice already this year. Split it home and away. Home team won both times. You know, I could see this going pretty much either way. I think Garcia has been an amazing player for Minnesota. Super underrated player in the Big Ten. And, you know, Minnesota, they're probably not going to make the March Madness tournament unless they can somehow beat Michigan State. And they might even have to beat Purdue in the next round as well, um, to be honest. So it's tough because they're, I feel like, pretty far on the bubble. Like, not that close to making it in. But this win could still go... A long way so they're kind of playing for their season um, even though they'll probably get an NIT bid for sure um, I think I am gonna go with Michigan State to win this game I don't really trust Michigan State a lot um, I think Garcia has a big game but I do think that Sparty does do enough here to at least win this one and make it to the quarter finals and, and, and kind of guarantee them a spot into March Madness. I'm pretty sure they're going to make the NCAA tournament even if they lose to Minnesota. But, you know, this feel very comfortable, you know, if they win that one for sure, I feel like. Next up, we do have Rutgers versus Wisconsin. Can Rutgers 13 over a 5 here um, pull off the big upset? Like I said, that defense is very good. But I do feel like Wisconsin has the front court. But I think it's the guard, A.J. Store that really helps them he has a big day offensively that helps Wisconsin make it to the quarterfinals and get past Rutgers there 
Next up, we do have Ohio State versus Iowa. Very interesting first round matchup. But I think, honestly, as far as like a team who could potentially get a bid steal in this league, it's got to be one of these two teams. Whoever wins this game has potential to win another game and potentially another game and go on a little streak here because they are not, neither one of these teams, since they're on the bottom of the bracket as well, they're not going to see Purdue until the championship uh, of the Big Ten. And, and Ohio State, they've already proven that they can beat Purdue. They've done it. So that makes it interesting for sure. Um, I think Ohio State is definitely my biggest bid stealer. Uh, as far as the potential bid stealer in this league, but Iowa could do it as well because they're not going to make the tournament as it sits right now either. Um, Indiana, you could argue, I just don't see too big of a path for them as much. I just don't know if they have the team to really go on this big of a streak in the league. I think Ohio State and Iowa, I think I feel more confident in. Um, I think I'm going to go with Ohio State to win this game. I do think Iowa does have the advantage when it comes to guards. Um, when you got like Tony Perkins and boys, but Ohio State has been playing lights out ever since they fired their coach and they had the interim head coach. They have been playing awesome. Florin's been playing awesome. Gale's been playing awesome. Uh, Battle, he's been playing pretty good. Zed Key down low. I just think this Ohio State team has been coming together recently and I like them to at least make the quarters. Um, I think that they could definitely go on a little bit of a run here in this tournament, though, for sure. Next up, we do have Penn State versus Indiana. I could see this being a slight upset here. I do think Indiana has more talent on their team, though. I just feel like uh, Xavier Johnson, he has been somewhat disappointing this year. Um, but <sighs> McKenzie Mbako has been awesome as a freshman this year, and uh, Khalil Ware has really taken a step up from his first year at Oregon to transferring to Indiana. He's playing a lot, a lot better. I, I don't think they have the size to compete with Khalil Ware, and I think Indiana's going to be able to get past that round and make it to the quarterfinals. So no big upsets, really. We got the 10 over 7 there with Ohio State. Um, but really, I could see a lot of these happening. I mean, Wisconsin hasn't been that consistent uh, in the second half of the season. You could see them possibly getting upset. I could definitely see Minnesota beating Michigan State. And I could see Penn State beating Indiana, but I like the I like the matchup there for Indiana. So let's go on to our quarterfinal matchups. We have Michigan State versus Purdue. I just don't trust Michigan State, especially because they don't have that great of a front court, and they're not a good shooting team. And we've seen the recipe to beat Purdue. You gotta be able to stop Edie. You gotta be able to make the other team miss their threes, or, or make Purdue miss their threes, and you gotta make threes. And, and I just don't know if Michigan State has the team to really beat Purdue. Um, I'm going with the Boilermakers here in this one. Next up, we do have Wisconsin versus Northwestern. And I like Boo Booey to make a little bit of a run here and at least get his squad to the semifinals. So I think that him versus AJ Store would be a super fun matchup. I do give the edge to Boo Booey there. Um, is Ryan Langmore coming back yet for this one? I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, I still think that Northwestern gets past Wisconsin. I think that they've been playing better, even though neither one of these teams have been that consistent. I feel like Northwestern has been playing a little bit better ball lately. Ohio State versus Illinois. This is the huge test for Ohio State. Can they get past Illinois right here? I mean, as hot as they're playing right now, I could see it happening. And, you know, I, I really want to pick Ohio State to go into the round here and potentially get a bid steal and knock off Illinois. But Illinois has been really, really good this year, man. Coleman Hawkins, I think he could have a game in this one. You know, Terrence Chan Jr. can drop 25 on you at any point. It's tough. It's tough. Illinois has a really good team. But I am going to roll with this Buckeye team. I'm sorry, Illinois fans. I know you all are about to be mad at me for <laughs> not picking Illinois because Illinois has potential to win this entire tournament, especially if Purdue gets upset by someone in the top bracket. Illinois is 
the second favorite to win this league. But I think Ohio State's hot right now. They've shown that they can beat anybody. I'm going to go with Ohio State. Next up, we do have Indiana versus Nebraska. I could see this one going either way as well, honestly. Um, I think that it's interesting. Indiana, not the best shooting team. Yes, they have a couple of good shooters like Trey Galloway. Um, and Baco can hit one here and there. But not the best shooting team, right? You know, uh, Nebraska, very, very good shooting team. I like this Nebraska team. I like uh, Dominga. I think that he has a big game in this one. I'm going to go with Nebraska to make it in to the semifinals. How about them Huskers having a great year in basketball this year? Next up, we do have Purdue versus Northwestern. A fun matchup. I think Boo Booey could have a massive game in this one with Braden Smith guarding him. Maybe they put Lance Jones on him, honestly. I probably would. He's the better defender. But either way, I think that, especially with Ty Berry being out for the year, man, you can throw a lot of people at Boo Booey if you're Purdue. Lance Jones, uh, give him a break, put Braden Smith on him for a little bit. You know, switch it around. You know, if you can slow him down, then, then you give yourself a better chance. And Northwestern has shown that they can compete with Purdue. Not only did they beat Purdue this year once, but the second time they played each other, the game went to overtime. Purdue did end up winning that game. But still, that was in Mackey Arena. Northwestern forced overtime. So they've shown that they can beat them. Purdue has to show up for this game or they will lose. And they definitely just can't take Northwestern lightly. They, they definitely think they, they kind of have a blueprint here for Purdue. I just think that Purdue too good. They're going to be ready for this one. They know that they can lose to Northwestern because it's happened already this year. And they've also played another close game. They're going to come prepared and they're going to knock off Purdue in this one. Um, also, it's in Minneapolis. Man, I, I wish I would have. I kind of wish I would have gone back and picked Minnesota to at least get by Michigan State there as they should have a bunch of fans there but because it's basically a home game but um michigan state also travels well so i'll stick with sparty but i kind of think minnesota is going to win now i wish i would have changed that but that's fine i mean i don't have either way i have i would have them losing to purdue next up we have ohio state versus nebraska and ohio state they've had a good run and i want to keep rolling with them man with Thornton, who's just an awesome sophomore for Ohio State. But I like Tominanga, and I like this Nebraska team as a whole. Just They're so good at shooting, man. I'm going to go with Nebraska to end Ohio State's little run here for a bid steal. Is beating Iowa and Illinois enough for them to get in? It would be close. They're definitely maybe on that first four out level. If they can get past Nebraska too, then maybe you're talking. But they might need some help along with these two wins. It will be close as far as the Buckeyes getting in. But we do have our Big Ten Championship game. We do have Purdue. We do have Nebraska. And Nebraska does have a team that I think can compete with Purdue. You know, they have really good shooters. Um, they can play good defense at times. They can go on big runs. They have a team that can knock off Purdue. I just don't know if they are going to be able to do it. I don't know if I trust them to be able to do it. And I think I'm just going to go ahead and pick Purdue. Back-to-back -back Big Ten tournament champions. I just don't I don't see anybody really beating them. I think, honestly, if I'm being for real right now, I think Northwestern might have the best chance at knocking off Purdue. And I don't really, I don't really know if they could. Illinois played them twice this year, was unable to do it. They did play them close whenever they were, when Illinois was the home team. I think Illinois could potentially get them, get it if they can play their best ball. I think that they can beat Purdue. But I honestly feel like Northwestern might have the best shot at doing it. I think that's going to be a really close game in the semis. But give me Purdue. I think they win by closer to 10 points against nebraska in the championship game but that's going to do it for this one let me know what you guys think about my predictions down below in the comment section and be on the lookout we still got the pac 12 and mountain west coming out very very soon shortly after this one so yeah guys that's going to do it subscribe if you guys are new and i'm out